Hey, we're continuing our conversation on the ancient text called of the Mayan civilization of Mexico called the Popol Vuh. It's like their Bible in a sense that was transcribed in one of the last remaining texts that wasn't burned by the Catholic Church. Then the mountains were separated from the water. All at once the great mountains came forth. By their genius alone, by their cutting edge alone, they carried out the conception of the mountain plain, whose face grew instant of groves of cypress and pine. And the plumed serpent was pleased with this. It was good that you came, heart of sky, hurricane, and newborn thunderbolt, sudden, sudden thunderbolt. Our work, our design will turn out well, they said. And the earth was formed first. The mountain plain, the channels of water were separated. Their branches wound their ways among the mountains. The waters were divided when the great mountains appeared. Such was the formation of the earth when it was brought forth by the heart of sky, heart of earth, as they were called, since they were the first to think of it. The sky was set apart and the earth was set apart in the midst of the waters. Such was their plan when they thought, when they worried about the completion of their work. So we have... We gotta keep track of these because uh, they are polytheistic, so they have many different gods. Heart of Sky, we got Hurricane, we got Newborn Thunderbolt, we got a Plume Serpent, Quetzalcoatl, I believe is what he's called. Is it is it Kukulkan or Quetzalcoatl? I'm confusing the Aztecs with the Mayans. It'll come to me later. Now they plan the animals of the mountains. All the guardians of the forest, creatures of the mountains, the deer birds, pumas, jaguars, serpents, rattlesnakes, fair de lances, guardians of the bushes. A bearer, begetter speaks. Why this pointless humming? Why should there merely be rustling beneath the trees and bushes? Indeed, they have better have guardians, the other replied. As soon as they thought it and said it, the deer and birds came forth. And they gave out homes to the deer and birds. You, the deer, sleep along the rivers, in the canyons. Be here in the meadows, in the thickets, in the forests. Multiply yourselves. You will stand and walk on all fours, they were told. So then they established the nests of the birds, small and great. You precious birds, your nests, your houses are all in the trees, in the bushes. Multiply there, scatter there, in the branches of the trees, the branches of bushes, the deer and birds were told. When this deed had been done, all of them had received a place to sleep and a place to stay. So it is that the nests of the animals are on the earth, given by the bearer, begetter. Now the arrangement of the deer and the birds was complete. And then the deer and the birds were told by the maker, modeler, bearer, begetter. Talk, speak out, don't moan, don't cry out. Please talk, each to each, within each kind, within each group. They were told, the deer, birds, puma, jaguar, serpent. Name now our names, praise us. We are your mother, we are your father, speak now. Hurricane, newborn, thunderbolt, sudden thunderbolt, heart of sky, heart of earth, maker, modeler, bearer, begetter. Speak, pray to us, keep our days, they were told. But it didn't turn out that they spoke like people. They just squawked. They just chattered. They just howled. It wasn't apparent what language they spoke. Each one gave a different cry. When the maker, modeler, heard this, it hasn't turned out well. They haven't spoken, they said among themselves. It hasn't turned out that our names have been named since we are their mason and sculptor. This will not do, the bearers and begetters said amongst themselves. So they told them, you will simply have to be transformed since it hasn't turned out well and you haven't spoken. We have changed our word. What you feed on, what you eat, the places where you sleep, the places where you stay, whatever is yours will remain in the canyons, the forests. Although it turned out that our days were not kept, nor did you pray to us, 
There may yet be strength in the keeper of days, the giver of praise whom we have yet to make. Just accept your service. Just let your flesh be eaten. Interesting. Just let your flesh be eaten. You accept your service, so accept your service to your purpose, to accept their purpose and place on earth. Fascinating. Vegans wouldn't like to hear that. So be it. This must be your service. They were told when they were instructed, the animals, small and great, on the face of the earth. And then they wanted to test their timing again. They wanted to experiment again, and they wanted to prepare for the keeping of days again. They had not heard their speech among the animals. It did not come to fruition, and it was not complete. And so their flesh was brought low. They served, they were eaten, they were killed, the animals on the face of the earth. Again there comes an experiment with the human work, the human design, by the maker, modeler, bearer, begetter. It must simply be tried again. The time for the planting and dawning is nearing. For this we must make a provider, a nurturer. How else can we be invoked and remembered on the face of the earth? We have already made our first try at our work and design, but it turned out that they didn't keep our days, nor did they glorify us. Ah, so they're... These beings, right, are trying to create, you know, critters, beings, not critters, beings, that will glorify them. Mm. And so now they're saying that they were upset that they tried to get the animals to speak, but they were speaking in their own dialects. They weren't speaking the language of the gods that created them. Fascinating. So now let's try to make a giver of praise, giver of respect, provider, nurturer, they said. So then comes the building and working with earth and mud. They made a body, but it didn't look good to them. It was just separating, just crumbling, just loosening, just softening, just disintegrating, and just dissolving. Its head wouldn't turn either. Its face was just lopsided. Its face was just twisted. It couldn't look around. It talked at first, but senselessly. It was quick dissolving in the water. It won't last, the mason and the sculptor said then. It seems to be dwindling away, so let it just dwindle. It can't walk and it can't multiply, so let it be merely a thought, they said. So then they dismantled again. They brought down their work and design. Again they talked. What is there for us to make that would turn out well, that would succeed in keeping our days and praying to us, they said. Then they planned again. We'll just tell. Okay, here we go. Shipiakok Shimukane Hunapu Posum Hunapu Koyot. To try a counting of days, a counting of lots. The mason and sculptor said to themselves. Then they invoked Shipiakok Shumukane. Then comes the naming of those who are the midmost seers. The grandmother of the of day, grandmother of light, as the maker, modeler called them. These are the names of Shipiakok and Shumakain. When Hurricane had spoken with Sovereign Plume Serpent, they invoked the day keepers, diviners, the midmost seers. There is yet to find, yet to discover how we are to model a person, construct a person again, a provider, a nurturer, so that we are called upon and we are recognized our recompense is in words. Midwife, matchmaker, our grandmother, our grandfather, Shipiakok, Shumakain, let there be planting, let there be dawning, our invocation, our sentiments, our recognition by the human work, the human design, the human figure, the human form. So be it. Fulfill your names. Hunapu posom, hunapu coyote. Bear twice over, begetter twice over. Great pecarary, great coati. Lapidary, jeweler. Sawyer, carpenter, plate shaper, bowl shaper, 
incense maker, master craftsman, grandmother of the day, grandmother of light. There's a lot of repetition in here. The diction is very, it's very like flowing. You know, when I read the books on the Mayan hieroglyphs, I often wondered why do they have so many, I also did a bunch of drawings. Oh, I should have brought the plate to show you. I did a carving of a, of a Mayan jaguar on a ceramic plate. It was very beautiful. Um, yeah, so, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, in a lot of their hieroglyphs in the, uh, it's like a, what is that word? Codex? No, dictionary. Dictionary. In the Mayan hieroglyph dictionary, there was a bunch of sculptor and, like, uh, maker like there would be like a hand with like three beads in the hieroglyph and there was another one where it was like a person sitting and they'd be like this and like a bowl like you wonder like why is there such this emphasis and I wondered why is there such this emphasis on on makers but now that I'm reading their ancient text it makes sense like because their genesis is their gods going through an experiment of creating different beings to worship them. And they tried to create one out of mud, didn't work. So now that I think they're going to move on to clay. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful.